Hi everybody, Katie Godfrey from Kestrel Ballistics here. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the weather side of your ballistics calculator. Now many of you don't know, but the Kestrel 5700, the Elite, and the 5700X all have a full weather station inside of them. We all live in the ballistics land and that's where we spend all of our time. But if you double tap this backlight button, it'll take you right into the weather side and there's so much to learn on that weather side. Now one disclaimer before we get into it is that anything you do or any changes that you make on the weather side will not affect your solutions over on your shooting side. So you don't have to worry about messing up barometric pressure that's gonna affect your next mile long shot. All of that information stays separate. To get over to the weather side, I always double tap my backlight button. I use wind speed to calibrate my brain so that I can start to apply it to vegetation that's nearby, which allows me to take quicker shots. Scrolling down will take you through the different measurements. And you'll see as we scroll down, you have temperature, you have wind chill, your relative humidity, your heat stress index, that's the real feel, your dew point, wet bulb, barometric pressure. Now in pressure, there's a couple different settings here. We have pressure, we have barometric pressure, and we have altitude. If you're using one of the apps that's asking you for information, you wanna to go to this pressure, that's station pressure. If you wanna set your reference for your barometric pressure or for your altitude, you can do that. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to now use your barometric pressure as a barometer. So you can watch storm fronts come in and you can also watch your changes in altitude. These are user screens. Now user screens can be very helpful because those three lines are all user settable. We have three of them and you can set them each one up to have the measurements that you'd like to see quickest. If you leave it on this user screen, when you double tap that backlight, it's gonna take you back to ballistics. Double tap it again, and there you are back into your user screen. Scrolling down continues to cycle you through your date and time, your direction from your digital compass, and then we get back to wind speed again. Once you're back at wind speed, you double tap to get back into your shooting solution, and then you're back in that part that you're really familiar with. If you wanna learn more about setting up your data logging or anything else on the weather side, you can always visit our YouTube channel at Kestrel Ballistics TV.